Hello everyone. Welcome to thesis 1, 2, 3 where I learn and teach online. Today we will discuss about quick overview of the MATLAB. That means uh, uh, we are going to discuss about that introduction of MATLAB, how it will come to the world. Within that first concept is nothing but its introduction of MATLAB. Let's have a look about uh, introduction of the MATLAB. Before going to uh, discuss about that, we have small agenda on that. That is first concept is what is MATLAB, overview of the MATLAB and distributed computing of the MATLAB. First thing, what is MATLAB? For a simplified answer, I will tell that uh, it is a uh, used for uh, computing, visualization, and for the programming. We know very well that uh, computing is nothing but mathematical manipulations. Okay, I mean uh, we can discuss with all the linear algebra, uh, polynomials, all the things. Okay, trigonometry, geometry, uh, matrices, eigenvalues, and eigenvectors. All the things things come under the computations and also we know that uh, algorithm development we know very well that algorithm means uh, a step by step procedure is nothing but algorithm and data acquisition we can uh, get the data from many different ways from different platforms then we can be put into the practical format and modeling simulation and prototyping we know very well that uh, we have certain uh, we have certain theory about some concept we have to put into the dynamic um, designing of the any circuit or any network that we have to put into the practical modeling that is nothing but modeling and that model can be uh, simulated by the simulation process and next one data analysis exploration and visualization uh, here we can discuss that uh, how the data can be taken from different platforms and different formats that can be explored with the visualization what we are getting to see and also we can do that scientific and uh, engineering graphics you know very well that the graphics may be having a 2d 3d and 4d like that okay and application development including graphical user interface building that is nothing but GUI building it is the hard hardcore part of the MATLAB now we can see the uh, for what purpose we are using the MATLAB? The first concept is nothing but data acquisition. What is data acquisition exactly? A framework for building live measured data into MATLAB using PC compatible plugin data acquisition hardware. I already told you that what are the theoretical concept has having within our minds that can be implemented based upon the hardwares I mean that can be executed that can be seeing within the our uh, laptops PC compatible uh, devices all the CROs like that any hardware devices which can be seen with our eyes okay and next one multi platform and multi format data importing it's nothing but the data can be loaded into the MATLAB from the different ways I mean different formats one may be it may be binary data and ASCII text unlock to digital and digital to unlock data files we know very well that every system and every uh, personal computer can be taken into as a binary system that is nothing but zeros and ones exactly right uh, for example, REX, Plexon, etc. All the things will be there within this data files. For example, I want to give thesis 1, 2, 3. That system can be taken into the zeros and 
once that may be binary data form and ascii text for example uh, i link 1 2 3 okay like that some text will be there that can be taken into the ascii format and unlock to digital digital to unlock what are the input we are giving that can be uh, that may be unlock or digital it can be taken into the vice versa okay and those can be displayed within the matlab software with different formats and different platform data importing and next one uh, we know very well that the statical analysis what is statics first of all from seventh class uh, from seventh class onwards we are seeing that what is uh, statics all the things right it may be uh, van diagrams all the things will be there right that the same thing we can be implemented within this matlab for master of business administration for example uh, I, i need to uh, tell small description about that a considerable variety of statical text available including t test uh, man wetness test rank sum test and overs linear uh, regression curve fitting all the things will be there within this statical analysis to define whatever we have the expressions within the statical form that we had that that can be seen within the matlab software and the graphing you know very well that graphing sir in many movies cinemas you are seeing that uh, different types of uh, graphical uh, visualizations If within the matlab uh, a comprehensive array of the plotting option available from two dimensional to four dimensional that may be 2 uh, 3 4 dimensional visualizations has been uh, appear within our matlab and full control for formatting uh, accessing and the visual representation elements here we have the availability for formatting the any dimension of a picture or anything and we can be adjust the axis and other visualization representatives that may be we can change color uh, design and also what is the main appearance can be also represented based upon our requirement within the graphical representation and uh, whatever you are seeing within this pictures uh, that has been uh, designed within the matlab okay and next one modeling uh, we already discussed within the introduction that uh, whatever the theory we are having within our mind within our mind we can be implemented within the practical uh parameters based upon the compatible devices like crvs uh, ammeters or uh, voltmeters monitors all the things will be there within our uh, electronic field right at the same time models uh, models of the complex dynamic system interact can be designed to the text experimental data that is nothing but in this world there are static systems and dynamic systems can be available static system means nothing but uh, which is having stable position and dynamic system i mean which can be rotate or uh, movable uh, positions or uh, dimensions can be changed within this dynamic systems that can be designed to text experimental data okay this is the simple uh, example uh, picture which i am showing you to the for uh, your clarity this is one model which can be designed based upon our theory that can be implemented into the practical way and these are also the one of the modeling uh, outputs okay after modeling we can get the this type of uh, pictures which can be displayed uh, with uh, dimensions and uh, axis and relatively elementary representation for more inf information visit our website www.thesis123.com
for more videos on student based project feel free to email for a, any queries to info at the rate thesis123.com and finally don't forget to subscribe and click like below the video and give us a feedback to improve ourselves uh, within the next video we can come up with the evaluation of matlab language okay all the best thank you for watching this video